Good morning. I'm David Guthrie, a preacher with His Word Lives Ministry. We've got some exciting things going on with this ministry and the different ways that we're sharing the gospel out into the world. I want to welcome you to this Christian ministry. The message today is, I will send him unto you. What a beautiful promise from Jesus. We're in the book of John, chapter 16, verses 5 through 11 this morning. Let's read God's word. But now I go my way to him that sent me, and none of you asketh me, Whither goest thou? But because I have said these things unto you, sorrow hath filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment, of sin because they believe not on me, of righteousness because I go to my Father and ye see me no more, of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. <clears throat> we see here, <clears throat> we see here in the ministry of Jesus with his disciples that he's telling them that he's going to be leaving them. And he's surprised that when he tells them this, they're not even asking him whether where do you where are you going? Instead, they're sorrowful about themselves because he's not going to be with them anymore. I had a thought from God this morning is that we need to concentrate in our lives on what Jesus is telling us, the things that he's wanting to do in our lives and the and the way and the things that are important for us are godly things in our lives. And we need to not think upon ourselves and be concentrated and motivated and hung up on our feelings. We're to seek out Jesus and his will in our lives and make that a priority. And make that the most important thing in our life, what Jesus has going on in our lives. And he has something going on in each and every believer's life. He's telling us something that we need to be concerned about. We need to be paying attention to. And we need to be doing the work and the attitude and the, the servanthood and the praising of Jesus in our life, and not be caught all up about ourselves in our lives. Jesus is telling them that it is important. He says it is expedient that I go to the Father. It's necessary for the kingdom of God. Jesus has come upon the earth and ministered to these disciples and many others, and told them that the kingdom of God was at hand, and people needed to repent and believe on him as the Son of God. He's done many signs and many wonders that only God could do. He's proved himself even before men here on this earth that he is God. But now the time has come in the kingdom of God for him to depart his ministry. And he's telling them that when he goes away, he will send the Holy Spirit, another comforter to them and to us that believe on Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior. Jesus tells them, or he gives them a promise, I will send him unto you. Jesus is telling his disciples here. Jesus is telling everyone that believes that Jesus is the Son of God, I will send him, the Holy Spirit, comforter, unto you. <clears throat> and, when, and when the Holy Spirit came, 
when the Holy Spirit came that day at Pentecost and filled and came inside of the believers, at that point in time, they knew God, the Holy Spirit. He, they knew that Jesus had sent the Spirit unto them. On the day that you told Jesus that you believed in him as the Son of God, Jesus' promise came true in your life. God, the Holy Spirit, came and lives inside of you each and every day of your life. <clears throat> and God, the Holy Spirit, came and had judgment on all the sin on this earth. All the people that know that they're doing sinful things. All the people knew that they were not in a right relationship with God. Because God the Holy Spirit is reproving and revealing sin in each and every human being upon this earth. <clears throat> and God the Holy Spirit also reproves of righteousness as Jesus goes up to God the Father on high and is there. His righteousness is the standard. His righteousness is what judges the world. Jesus is perfect and holy and never sinned while he was on the earth. That's the standard of man in their life. That's why we have all come short of the glory of God. We have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. All people have to come and forgive Je and, and ask Jesus for forgiveness of their sins in order to be forgiven and have a right relationship and eternal life with God. And at that point in time, <clears throat> we take on spiritually Jesus' righteousness. He imputes his righteousness unto us. It's not anything we can do. We can only have faith in what Jesus can do. And he imputes his righteousness or makes us righteous and of the children of God, his holy family. And God the Holy Spirit also reproved the world <clears throat> Also, of judgment, Jesus judged Satan. Jesus defeated Satan. Jesus made a way for people to be able to break the bondage and power of Satan and his evil ways on this earth. Listen, Satan is about stealing, killing, and destroying people's life. But Jesus pronounced judgment and defeated Satan. And now there's a way through faith in Jesus Christ to have power over Satan. He's been judged. Jesus defeated death, hell, and the grave. He lives now even though he died. <clears throat> hell could not hold him. After three days, he rose from the grave. Jesus lives at the right hand of God the Father. He's our Lord and our Savior. <clears throat> He's the King of kings and Lord of lords. Jesus is the way. Jesus is what you need in your life. And also experience the promise of Jesus in that he will send the Holy Spirit to be with you upon belief in him. I hope you got something out of the message this morning. What a situation this must have been for the disciples to hear that Jesus was going to leave them. He was going to send another comforter and that uh, they were going to be reproved all the world <clears throat> of sin, righteousness, and judgment in their life. And it took a while, I'm sure, for them to grasp this and understand what Jesus was talking about. Just the same way as it does for us today. And I hope this message has helped you along the way to have a better understanding in what Jesus' promises are. 
And one of them is, I will send him unto you. Let's go ahead and go into our prayer time. I want to pray for Darlene Corey. And she asked prayer for her children's ministry and that God will show his will and direction in this ministry. Mary Stewart, I want to pray for her. Teddy Klein, Cindy Hightower, Danny Cochran, Mitchell Jones, David Caroli. I want to pray for all of these people and their life situations. And with us, they have a closer relationship with God, as well as all the people that we've reached out and made contact with this week. I want to pray for Alan Long, and he uh, has a prayer request for our country, uh, our country and the youth, Andrew King, <clears throat> and he asked a special prayer request that God would give him strength and vision and how to move on from a recent a recent breakup with his fiance, Angela Long. We want to pray for her and her children, and she prays that God's will be done in a particular situation with her children. Audra Falconer, we want to pray for her. Robert Gobelet, we want to pray for him and William Crisp. We want to pray for William and Joan Eggers. And we want to pray for George Southgate and uh, her heart situation and surgery coming up. We want to pray for Debbie Davenport and Sherilyn Howard as she has a moving situation. We want to pray for Angela Sackett. And we want to pray for Alexander Zazi and his bookkeeping business and his relationship with God. We want to pray for Nick and Mary Sargent. And we want to pray for Nick's mother that's been in the hospital. And we want to pray for all of these that we've made mention of this week. Eddie Owens and his dad, Harold Owens. Mary Higgins. Patty Paisley. Floyd Guthrie. Jerry Lawrence. Lopez Sedek. Jolena Bomar. Pam Walker. Donna, Donna Peavy. Georgia Slack. Linda Frazier, Jeannie Garrett, Ken Brown, Jim Hegwood, Brandy Lynn, Kurt Rainey, Charles Joyner, Tommy Phillips, Cindy McClure, Kenneth Walraven, Tanya Quinn and her son, Colby, Lizette Carlos. And you lift up your prayer request and let's go to the Lord in prayer and praise him. <clears throat> that he sent God the Holy Spirit to be with us. If you don't know Jesus in your life today, pray to him and tell him that you believe he is the Son of God and ask him to forgive you for your sins. Dear Jesus, we come to you in prayer this morning, God, with thankfulness in our hearts, God, in the way that you've made possible for us to approach you even in heaven, God. And we lift up these prayers to you, God. they all the way into the throne room of heaven. God, we reach out to you in faith and comfort and confidence that you are our Lord and Savior. And God, we thank you for all that you've done for us. And God, we lift up all of these prayer requests in situations and health issues and people that need to be delivered for things. And whatever it may be, God, we lift these prayer requests up to you, even the ones that are praying and viewing this video right now. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen. Amen. Thank you for being with us. God bless you, and have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.